the lovers of Teruel, Mudihar architecture of Aragon. This man was Diego Marchia. He lived in the town of Teruel, Spain, some 800 years ago. The lady next to him is his lover, Isabel. They were very much in love, but her father forbade them to marry because the suitor wasn't wealthy enough. Diego left the town to become a soldier, saved his money and returned five years later. Isabel had been forced to marry another man just before his return. Completely devastated by the news, he fell to the ground and died instantly. Diego was buried beneath the chapel. Then Isabel died when she heard the news of his death. So touched by their obviously strong love, their families decided to allow them to be together here and arranged for their coffins to be laid next to each other. This is San Pedro Church where their tombs lie. The town of Teruel in Aragon is in central Spain. By the end of the 12th century, the Spanish Christians had fought the Muslims and recaptured most of the land. However, many Muslims remained in the Aragon region. They were called Mujihar, which means those who stayed in Arabic. Among the Mujihar were many builders and craftsmen. They incorporated Muslim decoration into Christian church construction and formed a new architectural style, later known as Mudihar style. El Salvador Tower was used as a watchtower. This is Santa Maria Cathedral in the centre of the town. The ceiling of this cathedral is also considered to be a Mudeja masterpiece. Pictures were drawn inside each coffered frame of the ceiling. This one depicts a hunting scene. The Mudeja's building skills and techniques will be permanently preserved at this World Heritage Site. This is a memorial monument to the town's famous couple. Their tragic love story is believed to have inspired Shakespeare when he wrote Romeo and Juliet, even though the play is set in Italy. The relief is also embellished by Mudihar's style. The people of Teruel continue to tell the tragic tale of true love to this day.